Okay, folks, look, check it out. Today, we're making a Cajun shrimp and rice skillet. Let's get it. Now, if you guys come on in here, look, you guys can see it's not a whole lot of, you know, ingredients, right? And look, right now, I'm gonna be using, look, a vegetable broth, right? A lot of times, I cook with chicken stock, but listen, this time, we're gonna do this. It's just these combina this combination of flavors that are do it. And don't forget, the full ingredient list will be on my website. That's smoking and grilling with ab.com, and that's w-i-t-a-b.com. So check it out. Listen, we got a little movie magic going on, right? So no matter you watching a cooking show or whatever, check this out. You see him? Hey, my nephew's in town. And listen, I knew he was coming. I was trying to get this video done before he got here. But you know, the phone ringing. Huh, you should, yeah, you might as well say that. And about two hours early. Hey, so with that being said, listen, we finna go ahead and, you know, finish, right? So, I'm gonna give you that. You can start there. You know what I mean? We gonna put a little. We got some andouille sausage, it looks little, like. What is that, some uh, extra virgin? Yes, Actually, sir. yeah. You know what, that's that infused. You want medallions or you want uh, dice with the sausage? Do you, prefer? you know what, I like it both ways. Right, we'll you do it with a little dice. There you go. Now for me, I want you guys to go ahead and just take your dry ingredients, right? Get yourself a bowl and just go ahead and add them. Right here, because we want to just stir this up. Now the only thing that I don't have right here is I don't have any cayenne pepper. Let me go ahead and grab some of that. All right, for the sausage, we're gonna go ahead and dice it up into small bite-sized pieces. That way they all fit uniformly on the fork. A little bit more of a pleasant eating experience, in my opinion, versus the big medallions. All right. Getting the spice blend going. We got some shrimp. Yeah. I'm starving, too, so this is right on time. I mean, you came in saying that. First meal of the day. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and warm the skillet over medium heat, add a little olive oil, get the party started with this sausage. So you want to go ahead and render some of the sausage fat that's going to flavor the rest of the dish. So you can hear it's already heating up a little bit. We put it in the cold skillets to get optimal fat rendering. And then we're just going to let the, the heat do its thing. Add in the onions and the garlic here in a minute. All right, so that right there is looking real nice, right? Now you guys are going to see it. This is like a really an expedited uh, version, but if you're making it by yourself, I promise you in, thir in three, uh, excuse me, in 30 minutes, you're done. It should be already in the, on the plate. Nice one pot meal too. Yes, yes, yes. I'm now, what I'm getting ready to do is, I'm gonna add some seasoning to these uh, shrimp, All right? So these, you know, they're nice and fleshy. You know what I mean? Give it some time to go ahead and just absorb some of this flavor. Now, if you guys don't wanna use, you know, the ingredients that's on the website, if you guys can go ahead and use that Creole kick, that'll give you that too. This is like a Cajun type of dish, right? Right. So, I'll just set these over here like that. I'll save this. Add some of this garlic. I don't right. want to. I'll let you do the honors on the garlic. I know that's. See, that's my that's thing, right? Hey, so all y'all know that nephew here like to use that paste, which I understand why he does it. Cause listen, it's like super flavorful, and it's convenient, and and, and it's convenient. But I gotta tell you something, though, homie. These right here put the smile on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up my press. As you guys can see, these will be out very, very soon. And one of the things I like about this is it's very efficient. Watch how much, it don't leave that much waste in here. You got to me one. Oh yeah, no problem. You guys can also see some nice fat rendering from the sausage here. It's kind of pooling up at the skillet, bottom of the skillet. I got you. All right. And that's going to help cook these onions and garlic. And we'll be able to toast the rice in that. The rice is going to start to absorb all that flavor and puff up a little bit. And then we'll add in our uh, broth or stock. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. It's going to take about three cups. You know what I mean? So, ho. Oh, Good hands. Good hands. Three cups coming right up. Hey, you know, another thing I want to tell everybody. I said this. I mentioned it earlier. I don't always cook with vegetable, vegetable uh, broth. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Just bringing different flavors in. This right here doesn't overpower it. It doesn't have that same taste like we do with everything else, you know? All right. So I'll probably go ahead and get the rice on in here. All right. What's Let's, the measurements on the want, rice? Let me hit it with this real quick. Let me just go ahead and just add that. And then, okay, the measurements on this, we're gonna probably put in about three quarters cup, right? Okay. So once you got that in there, let's go ahead and drop that in. If you guys wanna know why I'm putting so much in there, this is just a quarter cup. There we go. So we'll let that toast for just a second, kind of, you can see it start to take on the color that's rendering from the sausage. Yes. That little orange color that, that lets you know there's some good flavor down in there. I got some fawn developing at the bottom of the skillet. And now, my friends, it's time to add that broth on in there. All 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cover this with the lid, about 20 minutes total cook time. During the last five or 10 minutes, we had the shrimp. Right. And then for those of you guys that don't have a lid for the whatever type of pan or pot that you're using, you can always lay a sheet of aluminum foil over the top. All right, so the rice is just about where we want it. We need to go ahead and get the shrimp in there. We still got a little bit of broth reducing. And once that's gone, the rice will be fully cooked. Now look, I'm gonna jump right in here and say this part too. Listen, this is brown rice. I want you guys to look right here. Long grain brown rice, right? So even though I'm giving you guys a, uh, what, we giving them a time saying that? You guys gotta check it, taste as you go, right? And you wanna check to make sure that brown rice is uh, done. So Basically what he's saying is the, the brown rice takes about a week and a half to fully cook. Yeah. So <laughs> make sure you're stirring it occasionally, make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom and then uh, get in there and taste it, make sure it's, it's cooked to your liking. Right. So we'll get the shrimp in here, go ahead and cover this with the lid again, allow the steam to cook the shrimp. They're fully seasoned, it's tasting good, we'll be done in a few minutes. All right. All right, so you guys can take a look at that. You can see, look at that, that's a whole lot of flavor. Look at the, the color of the shrimp. Good. Got a little parsley. Mainly, this little bit of parsley is really mainly just for the look, but look how it pop. Make it look good. You eat with your eyes first. This is true. So the rice is done, the shrimp is fully cooked. It's time to go ahead and plate this up and for my favorite part of the job, which is the taste test. All right, folks, so listen. Me and my nephew right here, we done. You guys can come on and take a look at this, see it nice and live. I really want you guys to pay attention to the uh, shrimp. Now, as long as it took to get the brown rice to, you know, to fully cook, that was already marinating and getting all of the fleshy material that's inside of the uh, shrimp. It's really becoming absorbent, right? This right here, I can tell you, you know what? I hate to do it, y'all, but check it out. I gotta go in. I'm not mad at you. Mm. I'm starving. I know you are, bro. That's all he's been talking about. This right here is right. You're trying to starve. Mm. All right, get some of that andouille. Andouille. It's hot. Just had to dig in. It's good. Right amount of spice. Yes, sir. Mm. No, this right here is right. If I gotta make this one. You can make it with white rice. You don't have to use brown rice. Whatever you like. We got a couple of rice dishes in our cookbook as well. You guys know me, I'm gonna plug it. You can go to uh, bestofbothworldscookbook.com and grab your cookbook right now. All cookbooks will be signed by AB and myself. So get yours while supplies last. When they sell out, they're gone. Make sure you guys grab one. They're gonna be signed by me and AB. Now that right there, nephew, that's worthy of coming up out of the restaurant though. Huh? Facts. Hey, so listen, with that being said, listen, you know, this is my nephew, Matt, for you guys that don't know who that is, and then to even break it down even further, this is Mr. Make It Happen. I don't know if I like That's it. saying that, homie. That sounds like that, that magic mic type, type, type of thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, look, if you don't know who he is, he a million strong right now. Listen, we've been together for a long time. You guys can see right here underneath my finger right here. He's got his whole hookup, who he is, where to find him, and all of that. I'm going to let him close his, you know, his side of it out, and then, you know, we out of here. I appreciate you for having me. As always, food is delicious. Grab the cookbook. We may be working on a second one. You might be hearing it here first. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this plate because I haven't had lunch yet today, and I'm starving. And you know what I always say when I get ready to get out of these videos, right? We out. Peace.